nice. This is very nice. Um, right, when you do comedy, what you've got to do is say a little anecdote at the start so people get your vibe. Because you're looking at me, you're thinking, yeah, she's fit, but what's her vibe? <laughs> and everyone does it. All the, we all do it, right? So the comedians will come out, they'll tell you a little story, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, he's the posh one. That's loads of them. Uh, <laughs> or, like, she's the OCD one. Or he's the one that pretends he's a feminist to get more puss. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. <laughs> So I guess the thing to say about me is, um, a couple of weeks ago, I put on makeup to Skype a baby. <laughs> That's my vibe. <laughs> I'm, I'm, se I'm 78 percent Welsh. Oh, take me as one of your own. Uh, and last time I was in Cardiff, I sh maybe I shouldn't tell you this, but if I anyway, last time I was in Cardiff, um, I nearly slept with this 23-year-old. Uh, hello. Um, <laughs> Which is bad, because I'm, like, way older. And, yeah, nearly set with this 23-year-old. But luckily, um, he didn't want to. Phew, <laughs> 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 uh, Of course he did. Come to Mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking about my ex-boyfriends the other day. I was sort of going through my exes, and I was thinking what they all had in common. And I think, well... One, they really miss me. <laughs> and two, hepatitis C. <laughs> My taste has changed, actually, as I got older. I keep, I, I, now I go for, like, nice, kind boys. <laughs> kind boys, men, really. Uh, <laughs> no, don't worry about the 20... No, uh, men. Nice, kind men. And when I was little, like, when I was quite young, I really wanted to marry my dad. And I'm so glad I didn't, because he's aged really badly. <laughs> My friend Shannon, she kept going out with commitment phobes because she was also a commitment phobe, right? And that's how it works. But you don't realise that you're part of the problem, but like attracts like. And then one day she was like, no, I want to go out with a kind guy. I want to get married and have babies, right? So she popped herself on Guardian Stockmates, popped herself on. She popped herself on. And um, she was still attracting hookups. So I said, well, let me have a look at your profile because I'm very emotionally intelligent. And... <laughs> That's a setup. <laughs> I am emotionally intelligent, actually, because straight away I spotted the problem on the profile. Well, two problems, really. One, she hadn't written enough about herself, right? And you've got to be vulnerable in these things. You've got to give of yourself. So that was the first thing. And the second thing was what she'd written. So she'd written... <laughs> <laughs> she'd written one sentence, and this was the sentence she went with. In for a penny, in for a pounding. <laughs> Mixed messages, though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, also, she slept with my cousin John once, uh, she won't mind me saying, and um, <laughs> she kept her coat on. <laughs> Big shout out to Shannon. Um, oh, you've been so nice. I'm going to give you some tips before I go, right? In my back pocket, don't worry about it. So these are just some tips. Oh, this is a really good one. The, anyone can use this, okay? Say someone's having a go at you about something, like I cycled into a car and he was like, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> Say anyone's having a go at you about anything, what you do, you put your hand on their shoulder, you tilt your head to one side, right? And you say, I don't think this is about me, is it? <laughs> What's going on for you at home? That's the first tip. Second tip, uh, yeah, tone it down. That's just from my stepdad to me, actually. <laughs> Advice. Oh, this is a really good one. Okay, I know there are other two. Okay, the next tip. Um, what you do is you go around loudly on your phone, right? And you say, oh, yes, Lionel, send me the tracks, Lionel. Suddenly, everyone thinks you know Lionel Richie. <laughs> <laughs>